ladies and gentlemen, we are live here in Sydney, Australia for the Halo World Championship Tour and the ANZ Regional Finals. So far this morning, we have seen Prime take down Authority 2-0 in Group A. For our next match of the day, we are going to head on over to Group B as Team Immunity takes on Team Rain. Now, these guys were the qualifiers from AVT Auckland, and this is their first game of the day. Team Immunity have already played against Team XL5. They've won that match 2-0. So if they can come through and pick up this game, it's going to put them as number one seed within their group. Can Team Rain take them down and show what they're made of? Or will Team Immunity once again prove too strong? Ladies and gentlemen, your commentators for this game are Hoggy and Miles. Hi, ho, hey, Lorenos, welcome back. We're back in the group stages here. Of course, Group B Match 2 will be coming up ever so quickly. I'm Miles Ross, a.k.a. Wrath. Joining me in the booth for the first time ever, Hoggy. How do you feel? I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but I'm ready to go. Ready to go. We've got quite a game ahead of us. We have the regional titans, the, the I suppose, the, the biggest team in the Oceania biggest region. Team. They're, the, they're the guys. Yep. They're the guys everyone wants to see. We've got, of course, Team Immunity, and they're going to be going, oh, going up against the darkest of dark horses, Team Rain. Hoggy, walk us through the lineups there. Yep, so on Team Immunity, we've got Voltage, Seduce, Benno, and Hef. And then over on Rain, we have Titan, No Skill, uh, Deimos, and Zimbot. Now, of course, Rain, uh, they made it through the AVT qualifier land, so they didn't win any of the online qualifiers, but they brought the Thunder in Auckland and, uh, and battled their way through the brackets there against XL5, I believe, uh, to make it here today. There we see the teams. That's, of course, Team Rain on your screen. Uh, they've got to be feeling... Uh, it's, a t it's an uphill battle for them, this series. You know, of course, Immunity yeah. are the top dogs in the region. Yeah. Um, they've got a very, very impressive track record uh, throughout all Halo games, actually. So it's going to be a very, a very tough one for yeah, them. Yeah, this is extremely tough. Considering the Team Immunity just played XL5, which was a huge match for them, and they needed to win to get top of the pool. Um, and they did win that series 2-0. So Rain are coming in a little bit cold. They were warming up, but they haven't played a series yet, and Immunity have, so... That's absolutely huge to note because right now, yeah, they're going to be warm as anything. And if yep. Immunity win this, they're top of the group. Yeah, exactly. That's incredible stuff exactly. for them right now. So that is going to change the landscape of this tournament quite quickly. Let's have a little look at the group graphics, see where we are now in the tournament thus far. Uh, we'll maybe jump to that in a moment. But otherwise, any quick predictions for that one, Hoggy? How do you, how do you see this one for go this out? Game? Yeah. I would say Team Immunity are going to take it 2-0. Two, 2-0? Uh, two uh, two even, even though Team Immunity are playing, they reckon their worst game mode second. That may be Rain's chance, but, you know, Team Immunity been at the top for so long. So, you know, it's, it's a hard. It's going to be an uphill battle for Rain. So we'll have to see how it goes. Tough one for Rain there. But, of course, as you said, there may be hope yet at the yeah. end of the tunnel. There is Group B overview. Of course, we have a Team Immunity, Team XL5. And Team Rain, you see the relevant qualifiers there. Qualifier number two for Team Immunity, they did a great job there. Storming that one without dropping a single game. And of course, XL5, Qualifier Cup number four, also went through with Team Prime. And of course, Team Rain on the right-hand side. Here's Group A, Qualifier Cup number three, went on the all the way through to Authority, who did an exceptional job there coming through. We saw them in game one, not their strongest, but they're still in it. Yep. Obviously, Qualifier Cup number four there saw Prime and Citadel Gaming Cup number one winners upsetting immunity. Boy, howdy, exciting stuff. Yep, exciting we've got an important stuff. game going on right now. Citadel are uh, taking on authority on the side stage. Not sure what the score was, but it looks like they're going into game two. But it was tied 1-1 when we saw it, so that's a crucial match for both teams in uh, the other pool, Pool A. Absolutely huge for both teams. That is, of course, the group of death happening off screen at the moment. You may hear a little bit of noise now and then. That's because you can't contain these players. <laughs> they're having the time of their life. And there, <laughs> and you can hear a little bit of action happening down in the background. Capture the flag on Truth is going to be our first game here. Of course, this is one of Immunity's strongest game types. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a serious battle here for the guys in Rain to pull a, pull a cap, at least a cap, maybe even a win on this one. But let's see just how this one pans out. Looks like Rain's going to be starting this one off for us. You see a nice bit of pizza gun action there. Uh, I'm amazed to see how the starting strat's going to unplay. I wonder if Immunity, being that they, you know, they're not too confident thus far in, uh, oh sorry, they are confident thus far in the tournament. I wonder if they'll cheese the start, if they'll go with a cheesy strat off the beginning, or if they'll do, you know, one of their more practice and prepared strategies. Because look, face it, you can't take anyone lightly in this tournament. And they're seeing that already, it looks like the uh, the a few players of Rain are already down on board now, I believe, with no skill. Yeah, he's having a good time. His flag has been pulled, so it looks like Immunity have already got the flag out there. 
and uh, we'll see just what rain can do. Looks like it's already over halfway across the map. Now it's actually on the spawn spot. Deimos is going to be brought down from behind. It looks like the capture was in place there. Hef brandishing that sword, getting that cap for his team. Well done there. He's going to be caught out of position here, and P1 is going to look a little tough for him. Yep, so Hef goes down. Immunity doing a really nice job. Uh, they got four down for like. Rain got four down, Immunity got four down, uh, and uh, they were able to get the camo, pull that flag, and it looks like it's three down for Rain right now, so it looks like Immunity are going to run it over on pink side. Rain should be spawning over on car side. This could potentially be a cap for Team Immunity. You see Hefe taking on Titan. He just wants to stay alive here top mid. He's got one one shot. He's doing a really nice job of distracting two players. I think they are still running this cap. Beautiful job by uh, Hef to stay alive. One down for each team. They are still running that flag. It's just sitting down at bottom pink. He just wants to wait and see if his team can take out the rest of Rain. To our top mid, Hef is behind one. He's going to see him. He's going to put some shots on. He is weak. Rain, good job to get the flag pulled. Two dead right now for Rain, though. This should be a cap for a team immunity. Oh, I love this play from Hef. He's been behind Rain for at least a minute now, just putting shots in the back, making their life hard. And there is that second capture on the board. And wow, this is a fast CTF. Third flag already underway for team immunity. Hef is just having a blinder here. He's not died in quite some time. He's doing lots of damage for his team. And look at the speed of this run. These guys have got, uh, they've got pink side completely open. Car side is under a hail of fire. And look at that, 3-0. What an incredibly quick victory there for team immunity game one. Yeah. Oh, you called it. It could be a 2-0. Could be a 2-0 for them here. Well done there to Team Immunity. Of course, next game type is going to be Eden TS. I mean, you've called this one their least favorite. Yeah. And this is the shining example for the guys in Rain to actually get maybe get a win on the board. Yeah. But we'll see how this one pans out. Hoggy, anything that really stood out for me from that first game? It was fast, and it was over yeah. before we even begun. I mean, you just kept them spawning a car, and that was pretty much it. They, we didn't even get to the second camera, actually. So that means that the game basically just went two minutes and uh, they used that camo effectively at the start and then uh, they got the one cap and they just kept that spawn, sort of the spawn trap going and kept spawning them at car. Rain tried their best, but they couldn't, they couldn't come back. Nothing to come back. back from that. That was very, very challenging game for them there. You see Benno getting, there is time on the clock there, two minutes and eight seconds. There's the man himself, Benno, leading his team for kills, looking very calm and confident. No sweat there, no problem. He's going uh, to be touching his nose and his eyes there to keep himself, uh, keep himself engaged. Because right now, Group B, Game uh, 2, I believe, two minutes and eight seconds capture the flag on Truth. I have not seen a faster game uh, with my eyes yet. That was pretty impressive stuff. As you yeah. said, only one camo made it into the game. That is incredible stuff. Yeah. Unity not holding any prisoners. No prisoners. Really not. No, they really no prisoners. They want to win this. <laughs> they, they really do want to win this. And I, I'd say they're very confident uh, to not drop a map. Prime told me they were also confident to not drop a map. Which is interesting because if they get top of their pool, they'll probably be playing XL5. And XL5 were a tough challenge for Immunity. The ki games were kind of close, uh, even though yesterday XL5 did take some games off uh, Immunity. Um, they were still able to win it. So Prime think they're, they're pretty strong in Immunity. I know they would don't want to drop a game. Oh, I mean, you do not want to be dropping any games whatsoever. Imagine being able to close this tournament out, securing that place for Worlds with a clean sheet. That would be quite something. Of course, there you see a mini on your screen. They are 1-0 up in this series. If you've just joined us, it was a lightning fast. Two minutes and eight seconds capture the flag on Truth unheard of here in the Oceana region. But of course, if you're Team Immunity, no problem. They see Voltage on your screen. That's a man who definitely eats his vegetables. One of the biggest human beings I have ever seen in my entire life. But you can tell he's larger than life in game, larger than life out of game. He's very much enjoying himself. Of course, game two will be Eden TS. Something uh, something I don't see too much of. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Eden TS, but Hoggy, what do you think for both these teams? Keys yeah. to victory to look out for going into this one. Uh, whoever controls the sniper. It's extremely important to hold the, uh, keep the sniper on this map. And uh, I know Immunity like to hold blue base because that's where the sniper spawns. So they want to keep control of blue base. And uh, every time you want to uh, try to get a power weapon or a power up, you want to make sure that you got multiple members there to get it because this game is all about teamwork more than it ever has been. So uh, Immunity just need to make sure that if they are in blue base, they need to get themselves out of the blue base when the rockets are coming up. And if not, they really just need to contest it to stop them from being able to get it. That sounds good to me. Keys to victory there, ladies and gentlemen. Don't leave them at home. There we see your power weapons on screen, the rockets and the sniper rifles. Those are going to be the toys that everyone wants to keep their eye out for. And we'll see just how this one kicks off. Early predictions here. I've got a funny feeling we might be seeing another immunity win. But let's see if Rain, the dark horses, can, can get the steeds together and keep this one rolling. On board with Hef to kick this one off. Oh, we might change for POVs. Let's have a look at a member of Team Rain and see how they're going. Obviously, good start for Rain. Whoa, speak too soon. Zimbot is going to be obliterated there. 
Uh, let's see how this one plays out early. It looks like Snipe's already been grabbed. So has Rockets. Oh, actually, the Rockets are there on the stairs. No skill's going to be grabbing those Rockets. Titan there going to be cleaned up with some team shooting. Oh, and Hef. Look at that, Seduce and Hef. The wombo combo, the duo, going to be getting big kills there. And I think Hef will most likely have these Rockets. That's a rocket light rifle combo. I like those odds, if you ask me. 4-1 right now. Team Immunity coming out fairly strong with Rockets in hand. This is a very good start for them. And oh, wow, managed to get that sort of mid to long range Rocket there. Good job from Hef. I don't know if he needed to commit bottom, middle, or hoggies. think that's is that a sign of how confident they are? They're making sort of ambitious yeah. jumps and plays like that? Very confident. And he know, knew that he could get that kill with the Rockets, especially when you're down bottom middle. Uh, it's, it's quite easy to get those kills as Hef gets another one. So score eight to one. Hef finds another one spawning over at red. He's got this light rifle as well. Hef just wants to stay alive with his Rocket. I think he still has two left. Immunity off to a really, really good start. They've got him trapped in red here. Three are trapped in red. One down for Team Rain. Two down for Team Rain as Voltage goes down as well. But Hef finds another one. So they should be spawning over at blue base. I like that positioning from Hef, rotating inside the base, forcing the members of Rain outside. They're going to be sandwiched and pinched pretty damn hard there. 12 to 2 right now. This is not looking very good for Team Rain fans. Look at that. Hydra coming out close range, manages to get the headshot, and he's going to get the 1 2 Kangaroo with the, uh, with, the, with, the, with the Hydra there. I'm not sure if that's a very orthodox play there. But nonetheless, Benno is going to be picking up snipes with a nice bit of body shot there. Again, 15 to 2. This is uh, this is not looking too good for Rain, And this is the game type that they probably could have had a chance. Uh, but I'm saying it like it's already finished. I should shut my filthy mouth and let the gameplay speak for itself. Again, sniper rifle in the hands of Benno from Team Immunity. That is not what you want as a Rain fan. Oh, and he's going to get the perfect kill there. Titan not missing a single shot. It's going to bring Benno clean down there, eliminating that sniper from play for now. Yep, so Rockets are spawning right now. As our rain goes down, Taj is going to grab those rockets. Let's jump over onto Taj, see what he can do. Sniper is still a minute away, so Immunity have done a really nice job. They've spawned rain over on red base, taken them out. They spawned them over at blue, killed them all again. And uh, it looks like they're just going to keep rotating like that as best they can. They've got them trapped over here in tower and red. So let's see what Voltage can do with these rockets. Yeah, it looks like Immunity right now. It's rinse and repeat. They're washing their hair. And oh, Voltage is unfortunately going to blow himself up there. But he does get a little bit of damage on that member of Rain. And now we see, uh, I love Benno. One of the things I love about watching Benno is he spends a lot of time crouching. He's one of those players yeah. that doesn't mind just sitting still for a moment and sort of taking in his surroundings. He's got really great situational awareness. Excuse me, I mumbled the words right there. But now you see him engaging. No shield there, no skill is going to be bringing him down. With help from Hef, but look at this nice pince move there from Rain, managing to pick up two kills there. 21 to eight. That power weapon control is definitely coming into play for immunity they're just walking away with these kills without conceding any deaths nice job there from Benno great awareness gonna be getting the pick there on Titan now on board with Deimos who does have a rocket in his pocket let's see how this one goes for him he's stuck in a difficult position shots coming in from all sides he's gonna be brought down without oh he's not brought down yet but he's got one rocket there I wonder if he can do anything he does he's gonna get it voltage is gonna be eating the barrel of that tube and then we see snipe in play Benno's gonna have that one shots on from Deimos he's gonna get the kill but Benno managed to get a no scope just before being brought down. Wow. Extremely good job by Benno. He goes down though. Let's try to jump on over to someone from Rain. Let's see who has that sniper. Looks like they were over at uh, Blue Base. It looks like they were taken down though. Rockets are up in 30 seconds. Team Immunity and Rain both were going to want to fight over for these rockets. It looks like Team Immunity have control of Blue Base. Let's jump on over to Hef if we can. He's got the sniper in hand and he's looking outside red. He's going to see what he can do with this. He just needs to stay, his team just needs to stay alive. You can see that all four players have moved over towards Turbine to get control of these rockets. They're up in one second. They should be able to grab these. Taj goes down though. So Team Immunity doing a really nice job of controlling the Turbine as the rockets are about to spawn. Hef does go down. It looks like they've moved away a little bit and Rain is going to get control of rockets. Early on, good job. And Rain, they're getting those rockets. That's definitely going to help them out. They're going to get some kills with that early on now let's see what hef can do because he knows those rockets are out in play now and he's going to be doing what he can to avoid those and trying to take them back for his team we're seeing again a nice bit of pl slow play here zimbot what can the zimbot do he's been programmed to kill to crush destroy grab power weapons and eliminate enemies and it looks like there might be a glitch in the system there as he is killed on board now deimos doing what he can too many red x's on the screens of the members of rain that is not what you want to be seeing as a rain player titan now nice shots from behind on seduce good job there helping his team out hopefully his teammate can get that kill but Seduce is one slippery sucker. He's going to be getting away there with his life. And uh, good job here. They're being pushed uh, immunity with the cut with the flank now on Turbine's side. This is very good despite the spawn. Uh, they've got a nice bit of shot play. This is what you want to see. But unlucky, Titan is going to be brought down. He had the drop on Benno there, but he got brought out there by good teamwork. Lovely stuff there from Immunity. Yeah, extremely good job. I have to stay alive there. You saw him one shot. And he was just using that barrier outside at Rockets to keep himself alive. It looks like Immunity do have control. It was three dead for Rain. It looks like they're spawning over on tower side. Benno and Heft are going to have to work together here as players are probably pushing in. There's two. Whips out the shotty. 
Benno gets the ground pound. Hef gets one with the shotgun. He goes down, though. Nate's just flying in from everywhere. Two dead for team immunity. Two dead for Rain right now. Rain seemed to have that blue control. There's a player one shot just there. Let's see if we can jump on board with Damos. He finds one one shot over at top catwalk. He's got his teammates over at blue. So they've got control. They want to keep control here of blue base and that tower. Uh, let's see if uh, what they can do. You can see Seduce outside trying to push in. He's weak. He's doing a really nice job of staying alive here. Three players from Rain all stuck in blue base. This could be bad for Team Rain. Not like you go for Team Rain. 43-21. They're getting an absolute pacing right now. Things are looking pretty bad for our Dark Horses here. Of course, if they lose this one, they still... Uh, I think may they maybe have lost the group. I might have to check that one. I've got to get my facts straight before I open my mouth. 44-21 right now. Uh, it looks like Immunity, as predicted, will be walking away with this one fairly well. Again, pressure on now from Deimos. He's doing what he can. His teammates, you see the shots coming in, those light rifle bolts. However, he's going to be hit from behind as a player coming in from security. There he is on the catwalk from behind him. He's going to be taken out. The flanking maneuvers from Immunity Hoggy right now, they're just so strong. Yeah, they really, really are. They're getting them caught all over in that blue base. Well, Rain had controlled that blue base. They got caught in there, though. Immunity pinched them really, really nicely. And again, Rain spawning over on red side. So they're going to be stuck here as a rocket goes in for Benno. He gets a double kill. One down for Team Immunity as well. Immunity just moving around the map together, really. They haven't really taken control of one specific spot. And there we go, Team Immunity take it out. Great job there from Team Immunity. Sadly, as predicted, it looks like we're going to be sending the Dark Horse to the Glue Factory. Well played there from Team Rain. Of course, there are your winners, Immunity, on stream. It looks like things are going pretty well for them. Everything is uh, falling into plan, I think we can say, Hoggy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Team Immunity, 2-0 Rain, what we expected. They also 2-0 XR5, so that means they'll be top of the group with no losses. So that means Immunity will be first seed coming out of this group B. We'll just have to see who they take on in the other group, though. Huge job there from Immunity. Again, no surprises there. Well done on the boys there. Benno Seduce. There's Coach Dark in the middle there. Benno looking good, looking happy. He's feeling himself. Of course, there plays Seduce. Hef, Dark, the coach, and the big man himself, Voltage. That good job there from the boys. 50-25, a pretty comfy steak dinner there. For a minute, they don't want to be filling up too much because too much food will probably make you play a little sluggish. They'll yep. be moving on to the semis. Yep, you see Voltage was only six kills. <laughs> but he got 13 assists, so that doesn't really matter. They still won 50 to 25, so we'll have to keep an eye on that, though. Maybe Voltage, a little bit of a weekly coming into the next series or the semifinals for them. So we'll have to see how that goes. But still, 50 to 25 win, very comfortable. Very comfortable. You see a lot of assists across the board there from everyone in the game, actually. That yeah. was very, very impressive stuff. Power weapon control, Hoggy, out of control. L yeah. Excuse me, out of control. Control weapon <laughs> yeah. control. We're in control. I'm in control. You're in control. Uh, control or delete, excuse me. On board now uh, with uh, with Miles and, and Hoggy. Excuse me, Hoggy. Uh, we did a great job there um, keeping everyone keeping everyone on board. Uh, yeah, excuse me. Uh, we're going to jump to an interview in just a short moment. Uh, we've got Sandman down on the floor. He's going to be giving. A, he's going to be an interview with the team captain of Immunity, Benno. So uh, the man, the myth, the legend, who put up a great show for us there. Uh, we're going to see what he's got to say. But uh, again, no surprises here on the casting desk. Yeah, no surprises. No surprises. Let's find out what Benno thinks. Take it away, Sandman. Thank you very much, Miles. Now, he may not be the team captain, but he's certainly the one who mace most looks like Raynad. I do have Benno here from Team Immunity. Now, that capture the flag was probably even shorter than the average term of a recent Australian Prime Minister. How are you feeling about that game? That was amazing. Yeah, we're really confident. Um, we said before the game we don't want to overlook any team. So we came in to win today and we don't want to drop a map. So that's our goal for today. Certainly no dropping a map today. I heard that you guys weren't going to drop a map within Australia. That's the, that's the word going around that didn't work out very well for you in qualifier number one. <laughs> now, you guys went down 3-2 against Citadel Gaming. You've now come through. You beat Team XL5 2-0. You beat Team Rain 2-0. And you're the number one seed in your group. If you go up against Citadel Gaming again, are you going to go down 3-2? Yeah. I mean, they don't have the online advantage now. So they're all sitting at the same house playing on an NBN. So it'll be easy. That is pretty advantageous. Maybe you should uh, push, push forward your own gaming house. I hear the, the way to go these days. Now, um, you guys, obviously, you won qualifier number two. What prep have you done since then um, to prepare for today? Um, just really refining our game type. So we had a look at what we're playing this weekend and what we're not playing. So focusing on what's important to go over Worlds and what's important to give a clean sweep in the finals. Now, to be fair, you guys have a... Not an easy group, but certainly the easier of the two most would suggest. In the other group, in Group A, we've got Citadel, we've got Prime, we have Authority. Who do you think of those three teams will move through to the semis? 
Uh, I think we'll have, so X5 will go through, uh, and I think out of group A, you'll have Prime and, it depends. If Authority, I feel like they're gonna get down on themselves a bit. Um, if they let the trash talk get to their head, I think that'll affect them, but I feel like they're the better team, so they should win. So you're suggesting Authority and Prime and Citadel to miss out? Yep. Of those two teams, who would you prefer to play in your semi-final? Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Prime, so I can get them out of the competition. Heard it here first. Once again, we're getting all the scoops here on the interview stage. Thank you very much, Benno. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to throw it back to the desk. It is Hoggy and Miles. Thanks for that. Well, Benno's feeling pretty confident. I think it's safe to say. Yeah. Hoggy, no surprises. We have just received word from the floor, from the, uh, from the, blood, the blood bath that is the World Tour Sydney. And it looks like Citadel Gaming actually went down 2-0 against Authority yeah. in a nail-biter. Hoggy. What, yep. what can we say? That means that Citadel's final game against Prime is extremely crucial for them. Because uh, Prime is 2-0, Authority's 2-0. And, uh, well, they've won one series each, but they've won the both their series 2-0. So that's important that Citadel win against Prime 2-0. Incredible stuff Otherwise here. Otherwise, they're in trouble. It's they're really out. going down to the wire. Yeah. I mean, this is it. We've got, uh, wow, it's all happening here. Hoggy, incredible stuff. So, up next, uh, we'll have a look at the breakdown. See how things have played out so far. Um, in the in the course, this World Championship Tour, Sydney, it's been a bloodbath so far. It's been a real slobber knocker. We've had nothing but drama unfolding for us thus far. Uh, it's been uh, it's been some some real titan gameplays. It's been as exciting as it can be. The Asiana region is kicking off here at the World Tour. I think uh, up next we've got Rain versus X5. Again, X5 strong players. Uh, they've also they've already played against Rain several times in tournament play and they do have a very very good record. It is in fact sparkling clean. So we'll see what Rain can do. Those dark horses to to muster back and try and get some points on the board for them in the group, but I do think at this stage it's going to be tough for them. Yeah, extremely tough. It should be immunity versus an XL5 going through. Hoggy's predictions are straight down the barrel, no messing. It looks like we're going to see Rain possibly take another 2-0 sweep. But we'll see how that goes. We will, uh, we'll go to a quick break, guys. When we come back, Rain versus XL5 is going to be hot. Stick around.